Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Starlink Battle for Atlas. Today we're continuing on with the main quest by checking out a new character. First off, of course, the last character showcase we had was in the last episode, but the episode before that, we did chase the Silva. Now we're gonna be trying uh, the one she's usually pretty buddy-buddy with, especially in the opening cutscene, it was Levi McCray, Danger Zone. I don't know what that means. I guess like that's the name. I guess the name of his ability is Danger Zone. So let's go ahead and actually choose him. He's of course a part of Starlink, Danger Zone, a daredevil and thrill seeker. Levi runs headlong into danger and somehow survives. So we'll try him out. <laughs> Levi. He seems pretty silly. Apparently he's like a vlogger or something like that. I don't know if this is supposed to be taking place in the future. I don't know which one is supposed to be his is the weird thing. It doesn't really tell you so. I'm actually gonna look it up real fast. So oddly enough, I look at some of his, like pictures of him with his ship, like the physical thing he comes with, and it's just a ship like this, but it looks different. So I don't know if there's a way to change the look of the ships, or maybe just buying digitally, you don't get everything. But I figured I'd go ahead and throw some different stuff on, and we'll go ahead and of course get this, remove it from, I think Star Fox has it right now. We just have like Commander Armor 2, instead of, like I don't know what we have equipped at the moment. Uh. Yeah, this thing right here, this is scrapper armor, so plus 25% kinetic resist, plus 13 defense, plus 100 damage on impact. I think I'd rather do this, plus 45 defense, more durable while health is critical, increases ship's weight. I think we'll do that. Um, beyond everything else though, there's still a couple more options, like, oh, neither of these we can equip, unfortunately, uh, but we could do anti-grab booster. Yeah, let's do anti-grab booster. And then beyond that, we can do plus 10 defense. Wouldn't be so bad of an idea. There's hover booster which is minus 20% boost gauge cost when holding B. Might be worthwhile, or plus 10 energy. We could just do plus 10, that's what we have right now. Okay, gotcha. I actually wanna real quickly fuse one of these mods, uh, or can I not? Oh, I can clone the mod, okay. But I can also do this. That's what I wanted to do. Now that's actually an energy booster too, which is awesome. I'd rather have that. And then here we can have something better. Like we could actually fuse some of these to make a defense boost or two and equip that instead. Okay, that looks amazing. So yeah, while this isn't exactly his ship, I don't see how you can get to his ship. These are the six ships I have available to me. None of them are exactly that. So that's weird. If you guys know, let me know. Um, before I right know we got Levi's stuff, pretty basic. I wanna go ahead and check out his ability right, and have some up. fun with him. Let's do this. Levi Jenkins! And of course, he references memes. So we'll go ahead and have fun with him at the least. You know, we did have a lot of fun with Chase's vehicle. We're gonna head up this way and we will try to get to the main quest, which is basically going to the Equinox for now, which I don't know if we can quick travel to, to until we get up to space. So we'll try to get up to space first and we'll work from there. Where is it? Equinox, where are you? You're over this way. Are you on the other side of the planet? Equinox. Or maybe you're not, hard to tell from here. Can I just, maybe I can just quick travel from here. Fast travel here, gotcha, okay, never mind. Let's get it like this, awesome. Starlink database updated. Well, who are those Whoa. guys? <laughs> Razor? We did good, Mono. We did. That's the last sample. It's gonna take some time to analyze this core. Well, pick up the pace. We gotta hit them while they're down. We will, Rancor. We just need to figure out where these primes are coming from first. Who's Rancor and who's the little guy? I don't see, I don't remember seeing those guys at all. Oh no. Is he being like mind controlled by that worm on his neck? Rose. He definitely is. It is ready. Akko. Whoa. He stays until the cycle completes. Wow, okay, this is bad. 
The Prime is of Warden design. Its main purpose is to gather Electrum, which can be refined into Nova, and Nova can activate more Primes. But... Grax can't turn Electrum into Nova. Can he? Saint Grand can. He learned how to make Nova by studying Judge. But now... No. Look, the cycle completes. A shame it is only enough for one. One will be enough. His crew continues to resist. But they will be swept away by the Dreadnought. <laughs> Always remembering. And he's fainted. Or not. What is he doing? Boom. What's this? Oh, look at him go. Look. We've got to get St. Grant back now, before Grax is able to cover Atlas and extractors. Razor, you and I will take point. Finally! We are few in numbers, but armies smaller than ours have defeated... <laughs> you guys. An army. <laughs> Look, it's like Hunter said. Grax is just gonna keep getting stronger and stronger. I'm looking out for myself. Hey. You guys should too. Shade, you're right. Hey, Sin? What? We should split up. Oh, dude, that's intense. There aren't enough of us. The Legion is growing. We need to keep growing. We spread out, find help from every planet in Atlas. If we split up, we'll get picked off one by one. Not while we have Starlink. We can combine our strengths from everywhere in Atlas. The more of us there are, the stronger each of us is. Exactly. Nice, okay. The Wardens saved us. They gave us a path to the stars. Brought us out of a life of darkness. Now, what are we? Lost. I have found the key. We will redeem those unworthy. I send you forth in the Dreadnought. Oh no. Off they go. So St. Grand is one of those. Yeah, there he is. As the Wardens will. Sacrifice the worlds of Atlas to the harvest of Electrum. What have I done? Guess we're about to find out. Things are getting bad. It really isn't what you did, though. You were forced to. You were hypnotized. You weren't even aware of what you were doing. I think the game's only getting started. <laughs> That's a good thing. We know where the primes are coming from, but using the core's data, we can now see where they ended up. Good, because it looks like two more primes just landed. Ooh, wow. To follow their progress, I've added an alliance tracker to each planet. It will tell us how legion infested each planet has become and how many allies we've made to push them back. So, what's it mean when one of the Prime Icons just, like, flips out? Because the one on the bottom's going crazy sauce. You're right. The Prime Alert on Vilas, it's gone. I don't know. I was hoping they'd answer that for me. <laughs> okay, what, this is planet what? Unknown. So is that our goal, is to get to that planet, or should we stick to this one a little bit more? Haven, since it's a bit more familiar. Let's try taking on this guy for now, what and then happened? we'll move on to the other one. Is the Prime gone, or what? We should take a look. Maybe someone's out there. Your call. Hmm. Just remember okay. to check your star map. Our army needs to grow faster than the Legion, and the Alliance trackers are best way of keeping up to date. Okay, so we'll tackle both of those, but for right now, I do want to focus on Haven, if we can. I'll, I'll teleport over to Haven. Uh, or can I not? Is that this, well this, 
It's Haven, I should just be able to teleport to it. Maybe I'm too close? Maybe because I'm in hyperdrive? Why is this not working? I don't know. Right now it says 100% alliance benefit. Build workshops from 0% alliance on any planet. It just won't let me teleport there. Won't let me teleport anywhere right now. Weird. Might be a reason for that. But for right now, I just wanted to go to a more familiar planet so we can check out this new character, get a better grip on them, and sort of just see what their new ability is. Because besides their ship, which seems to be the same as Chase's, uh, at least without, like it just seems to be Chase's but with a different paint when I saw the actual physical toy. So I don't really know what that's about. I don't know why they don't give you that digitally or if maybe I just missed out on something that I could have bought or maybe there's just a second page of ships I just don't know how to get to. I don't know. Wow, this place is looking interesting. I mean, I, I've been here before, but it's like the red strip of stuff. I don't really remember looking like this. Okay, so where in the world is the big bad guy? But now on the right side of the map, you can actually see a little bit more info where the, you know, the normal Atlas civilians are 14%, but the Legion is at 38. So what are my chances of actually getting there and beating that dude up? I actually don't see him on my map right now. Um, Dang it, that's not what I wanted. Hmm, so it might be actually something we'll have to explore a little bit more before we find stuff like that. We have an advanced extractor over this way. Uh, this is an imp hive. Destroying these things will definitely be worth our while, but right now there's no clear indication that uh, there is any kind of those guys on the planet. We just haven't found them yet, so we just gotta go and find them and work from there. And also getting more of these lephilic anchors on here, the anchors I need to take care of of as much as possible. So which one are we closest to? Is this our ship? No. Our ship is somewhere around here, right there. So I think we'll start working on this one because obviously it's the closest. We've already done this. Yep, the Cherik Regulator. So this is the Advanced Extractor. These Electrum Harvesting Towers supply the Legion forces, destroy extractors to help liberate the planet. It also has one prime. Okay, that was what I was looking for, so let's get over to that and hope everything works out well. So I'm not too familiar with his ability. I do want to check that out real fast to see if it gives an explanation. I don't know if it does though. But we do have some pilot skills we can improve. Uh, but that also might be something that'll be worth checking out afterwards. All right now we just gotta get some combat done with him and not dilly dally too much more than we already have. Because it's 15 minutes and we haven't properly played him yet. <laughs> so we're just gonna float down this way. Dodge as much as I possibly can. I probably want to cut the engine now so that we can just stand the floor. Hmm. Warning. Atmospheric corruption detected. Flight engines are affected. Yeah, we can't fly out of here as easily, I don't think. Okay, so advanced extractor. Let's start working on these guys as much as we can. Extractor detected. Power rating moderate. You better okay, so the down, or our allies will be in serious danger. There is a bit of a risk here, as you can tell. Whoa because, going back this way, come on, come on. Got him, got him, got him. Uh, the problem is that these guys are very tough for our level three character. So this might not be as doable as I had hoped, but I might also just need to change to um, some ice abilities to take care of the Cyclops, Cyclopses themselves, then some ice stuff for the other situation. I mean, fire stuff, you know what I mean. Okay, I'm gonna mix it up. <laughs> because the Cyclopses, are good against fire. They're like extra defensive against it, but aren't as good against ice. So let's work on ice for now to make those ice vortexes as much as possible. Oh, I actually was able to destroy one of those things. So maybe this is, it's just an extractor node. So it probably just gets damage from everything. Well, that's good to know. I don't really want to work on these too much if I don't have to, because if I get them vulnerable, that's gonna go down when I'm still focusing on these guys. Ow. I know, I'm working on the main structure, don't you worry. Gotta worry about these guys first. Is the main structure available to attack? It is, great, that's not what I wanted. Okay, well then I'll work on this for now. Be careful of the ship, don't want it get damaged too much, ow. That's letting it get damaged. Ooh, okay, better. This is probably gonna close in a second. So just do what I can for now. Oh, and I've already gotten way too much damage. Oh gosh, back it up, back it up, back it up. I'm doing a really bad job right now. Get rid of some of these imps if I can. Frost Vortex over there. Okay, I'm getting a lot of my health back now. Here comes a probe. The probes are total pain because they do heal things. So I want to work on that guy soon. If not right at this very moment. I don't know if I got him or not. There's lots going on. 
It wants me to attack all sorts of stuff right now. This is a little ridiculous. If I do say so myself. Come on, get this guy. Cyclops needs to go down. These imps are on my face. So they need to go. And there's a chest here, probably for destroying the probe. So I got that. Whoa, what was that? What is that? I think that's one of the things. Okay, so I think we're good. There might be one more enemy, yeah, another little imp. Got him. Start focusing on the uh, nodes. Got it, got it, got it. We're doing okay. Don't stop. Whoa. Okay, good stuff. Back over to this one. We seem to be doing all right. So this thing is mining Electrum. Like that's sort of the whole idea. We almost have a full meter for this guy. He does take a while for some reason. Okay, this is available again. Let's start working on that, whoa. Did I get damaged by that? I guess I didn't. Okay, we're charging. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get rid of the entire thing this time, but I'm sure as heck gonna try. We're not really syncing up the weapons very well at the moment. Oh, it's so close, come on, get it? Ah, oh, not quite. Definitely this third round we'll be able to get it, no problem. Okay, so where are the enemies at? We got some dudes over this way. Oh, we have enough for it. What's happening now? We're just going crazy at the moment. I guess we're just sort of overcharged. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, it doesn't really tell you what it does, but it seems to be helping, no matter what. We definitely seem to be doing a bit more damage. So I'll definitely read some of his upgrades, because sometimes they can sort of clue you in on what's going on with them. But these nodes are all sort of going full blast on me, because they know they're almost beaten. I gotta be careful of that. Oh. Got it, okay, there's one down. Work on this one now, as much as possible. And then we should be able to just worry about the centerpiece after we get rid of all the nodes, and then we'll be done with this one, and that'll be good. Got it. Okay, work on this guy a little bit too. I think he's the last one. I sure hope so. Nice, okay, turn back around. Oh, not the probe. I hate these things, they're sort of just creepy. Okay, we gotta be quick with this because the guy is back up. Or the guy, the eye. <laughs> come on, come on, advanced extractor, you're going down. Yeah, we did it. So as you can see, that does give us some favor. It's 3814 right now, but hopefully that changes to 29. And of course, the more stuff we build for ourselves. Notice, I've got a partial lock on it. Take down a few more extractors and I can nail down the prime. Okay, so. Destroyed. We still have to do a couple more of these to actually get the Prime's attention, and then we can maybe move over to Vilas. But we need to do both of these. It seems like it's important to. So I'm working on this one for now, and we can worry about others later. What is this, another chest? Looks like it. Got it, Heat Armor 3, new mod collected. Got another mod in here, this is Stasis Amplifier one. Not too crazy with that. All right, now that we've done that, we might as well uh, head back into the pilot skills, and no, no, pilot skills. No, nope, that's the wrong button, there we go. And see what other upgrades we can get. So this is our Thrill Seeker. Uh, Levi chases the thrill of danger zone, extending the effect with every enemy he takes down. So I guess we get extra time if we take out more enemies. That actually sounds really good. So we're gonna start with that one. Uh, we do have one more point available, so we might as well put that somewhere. Like we have star power, Levi's expertise at goofing off actually makes it productive, charging danger zone when he pulls off a sweet trick. Eh. That sounds good, but I'm bad at the tricks. Gotta go fast. Using his advanced techniques of not paying attention to warning lights, Levi coaxes ships to boost longer than their rated limits. Uh, so boost gauge cost actually isn't too bad. Walk it off. Levi has taken his share of nasty pills so, so he knows to bounce back from injury, boosting his shield recharge rate. Can't touch this. Levi's daredevil attitude and uncanny luck help him survive injuries that would cripple most pilots. A plus 10% dur durability while at critical health. That doesn't sound too bad, but I'd honestly just keep to this for now. It seems like it's the most amazing thing. Um, and obviously we won't be getting to these anytime soon, but we'll keep working towards it. And hopefully we can get some more level ups as him. But in the meantime, do we have more stuff around here we could take out? We do have some imp hives which really wouldn't be that difficult to do. We're just gonna head straight over to them. We're gonna just basically keep working until we can take care of the big spidery thingy, even though I don't want to. Seems to be our best bet. And yeah, so far, Levi seems to be an interesting character. I, th I feel like he's like sort of almost a little like a chase in some ways. This poor builder is getting beat up by me and everybody else. I'm gonna have to heal her afterwards. 
Okay, let's just start working on some of this stuff for now and Starlink work from there. Updated. I might wanna get, yeah, I didn't have any heat before. I probably wanna work on that. After I get rid of these Cyclops, I'm going to uh, switch over to a heat attack and that might turn out, turn out to be a little bit better. Okay, so let us go ahead and do that one, the volcano, and we'll keep this like that. That should be good too. And that might be really good against these imps, which are all over the place at the moment. Get them, get them, get them. The enemy is oh no. Resistant to heat weaponry. Resistant to heat weaponry? Okay. Oh, I guess they are fire imps. Never mind then. Guess we're going back to, we could do freeze ray, we could do hailstorm. I like hailstorm. We'll try that out. Your weapon's tearing them apart. Yeah, well that's the point. So get the hailstorm on him. Move back over this way. Ow, ooh, that hurt. So we'll start working on this now because we can start making some more uh, cold vortexes that'll do a lot of damage. Hopefully, looks like it is. Really damaging that away. Is there another imp over this way? Okay, he's taken down. Not really too many enemies over this way, but did that help 29 to 14? It doesn't look like it lowered them anymore. That's sort of weird. It should, but I guess it doesn't. So did that person get damaged? No, they're fine. We got a survival booster out of it. Okay, so then I might work on this one then. 1X Prime, I don't really know what that means. It's sort of weird. Yeah, I mean, I'll work on these two and see if we can unlock it. And that is straight this way. So let's get moving. And we do have Levi's ability again as soon as we wanna work on that. I might wanna use that to blast the main core of it this time a bit more. Oh gosh, we got some more enemies. Ice Cyclops, so we definitely wanna change your weapon to fire again. Lots of like weapon changes in this game. It's just sort of something you do. So right now we can at least do this. Oh, there's some fauna we have to help. We'll do that soon. Cause that guy was ice. Definitely hitting him with fire will be the most helpful. Get rid of him, that was good. We're actually tearing these guys up pretty well so far. What is over here, an imp? Not any longer. There's a couple of uh, chests we can open up too. Grab that one and then dude, what are you doing over here? This probe? I don't know, but I don't like it. Get rid of him. There we go, get him in that vortex. Get him in that vortex. Oh, that's amazing. Nice. Okay, well that's all doing its thing. We're gonna open this bad boy up and inside, we get ourselves something, a geode. And then what is this? Oh, we're hacking this now. I didn't even realize this was a hackable thing. Caution, Legion forces on arrival. Well, isn't that just wonderful? Get rid of these guys. And is there more? Yep, there's one dude right in front of my face. He's a fire cyclops, so I need to change this again. We'll just do this one. Well, did I do it? Yeah, I did, okay, good. Dude, back it up, back it up. Oh, do, don't knock me out. So this hacking's almost done already. Fire Cyclops got nothing on me. Hack successful. And he just leaves. Legion data received and processed. Good. So where is that one guy we can help out a little bit? Don't attack the fauna. I wanna save this fauna as much as I possibly can for right now. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm doing a very bad job. Very bad job. Oh, I almost got it too. Yeah. Okay, so you guys leave that thing alone. What did it do to you? Nothing as bad as I'm gonna do to you, that's for sure. Okay, so let's move over this way. Got it. There's a lot of these guys around here too. I guess because it's sort of their, their territory at the moment. But when I'm done with it, not even close. Not even close. Let's get this fire cyclops as well. So I had this, you know, ability. Worn and ready, ready to go, but I wanna hold on for now if I can. Definitely the vortexes are great for shield characters. Okay, move over to this one. Almost got gotcha. you. Because they just can't hide from it with one their shield. Down. And that's amazing. Get this one, and you're good. Excellent, so let's move this way. We're still only like 10, 10 spaces away from it. And we should be fine with getting it. I would hope. Oh, there, but there are some other guys here too. They're sort of all fighting each other. That's actually excellent. I can gladly work with that. I'll take care of all of them. Actually, they're all gone now. <laughs> Did they get destroyed by, the, by the, the the red dudes? The Legion, right? That's her name? I always get the names mixed up. Then the, the Marauders or the Raiders or whatever. Okay, work on this stuff right now. The Frost Vortex really getting some good that stuff done. Busted. And I'm sure that this is like best used against you know groups of enemies because we do get some extra time with it every time we do destroy an enemy. 
But right now, I do want to focus on using it against the main eye of the extractor, because that just sort of seems to be the smartest thing we can do in general. Okay, speaking of which, it's now open, so I'm gonna try this out and see what ends up happening. Oh, it's definitely doing some damage. Definitely doing some damage. Keep throwing on as much stuff as we can. Already got it halfway done. We might be able to get it done in one go here, or at least really close to it. Oh, it's almost done, it's almost done, it's almost done. Come on, come on. Oh, so close, yet so far. Okay, dudes, I need you to back it out. Back it out of here right now. Get the, rid of this guy. Shielded Cyclops, not a problem. Who else wants to fight, huh? Got you over here, don't hit my own Vortex. Damage is stacking on with that one. Hit this guy too. We're already earning back our energy pretty quickly. Not quick enough to probably use it again for this uh, extractor, yeah. but that's fine, I really don't need it. Okay, just gotta be careful. We are very cold right now because we made ourselves cold. Recover, I messed up a trick. Got it, move back this way. Come on, come on. We're doing really well, as far as I can tell at the least. But yeah, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on Levi as a character. Do you think he's good, bad, worth buying or not? I think that if you can get him physically and get that cool ship he comes with, I think that's way more worth it. Digitally, I mean, his ability seems okay. I mean, if you're like, choosing one over the other, I do prefer for Chase so far with her ability. I think that was way more effective. Okay, got it. It is weird that there are some things you can get physically that you just can't get digitally. I don't like that very much, personally. But it sort of makes sense. Like, as a business model, it makes sense. The, did they go up in percentage? I swear they were at 29 before. Now they're at my, nine, minus 9%, so now they're at 29. Advanced extractor nice. destroyed. I can tell you exactly where Haven's Prime is if you destroy one more extractor. Gotcha. Okay, so we're definitely gonna do that right after this. And we got some Nova at some point. That's good. Decode Uplink this thing. Oh, and we're hacking, again. Breaching Legion memory bank. Remain nearby to maintain connection. Warning. Ooh, got some stuff Legion in there. Reinforcements have arrived. Okay, we're doing pretty good with these guys. This will earn up some more energy for me, because you really only earn up the special abilities by like defeating more enemies. I mean, I guess you could do it also by, oh gosh, I gotta get back in. By just waiting over time, but it seems way more effective to defeat enemies to get it done. Okay, speaking of which, defeat more enemies like this guy over Hack here. Successful. Hacking complete. Legion and look at that, we got a skill point. Processed. Awesome, so uh, let's try that out. Oh, we got our pilot, pilot skills. I could get a 1.5 seconds per kill. That sounds amazing, but I think it is time to start working on some other stuff like star power plus 10 charge per trick. Uh, I think it would be easier to do either boost gauge or shield recharge, durability. I think shield recharge sounds actually pretty good. He seems to be this really weird mix between very offensive and very defensive. Like very just high action, which of course fits his personality quite a lot. Oh, what's over here? Oh. Another probe. The probes are definitely worth grabbing because they drop shields, not shields. They drop chests and caches every time. I don't know why, why I thought they dropped shields. All right, give me that, well, radium cell first off and then open that bad boy up. What does that have? Uh, Quick shot amplifier, not bad. I'll gladly take that. So our next one, I don't even know if I'm heading the right direction. I need to go to here. This is the advanced extractor. These are like some harvesting towers. Supply the legion forces. Destroy extractors to help liberate the planet. Okay, we get an uncommon mod for that one too. So we'll work on that in just a second. I want to also do this. We got even more Nova there, so we'll use that for upgrading soon enough. Don't know what we should use it on at the moment, but I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. There's quite legion a lot of options. On oh, fauna. more legion corruption. These poor things, what did they do to ask for this? Well, they didn't ask for it at all. It's a quill heart. I'm sorry, Quillheart, that you had to go through with this, but I'm trying to help. Please just let me do it. It's like a Tony Hawk pro skater grinding, but more difficult. Okay, we got some enemies over this way. So shielded Cyclops, you guys are going down. They're not even facing me right now, weird. Who are they fighting? We may never know. Maybe they're fighting each other. They had some kind of squabble on what they should have for lunch. Well, now you're having bullets for lunch. How's that sound? Well, that was pretty easy. We're heading this way now. Yeah, no more enemies around, they were just chilling out. I guess because in these darker areas, it really is, you know, these red, red clouded areas, it's really just about, uh, if, if that's happening, then there'll be plenty of these guys just hanging out. So we gotta make sure that doesn't happen. These are fire cyclopses, so yeah, we're gonna be really burning through their health. Hopefully more of them are fire, because that'll just be super easy. 
We do have a full ability, which I'm gonna use, of course, once again, on the extractor eye. Get that probe as soon as possible. He is just a walking treasure chest. Sounds really fun to me. Got it. Go over to this dude. This guy's just a normal Cyclops, so not gonna be as effective against him. We can at least slow him down and then just go behind him and blast him a little bit more that way. Getting some major experience today, it's awesome. Looks like that's all the normal opponents, so I can start working on those nodes. Like this one over here. Need to check, I like this, oh wait, there's there's more now. Where'd they go? Over this way. Get rid of you guys first then. If I have to, I will. But I really wanna apply more uh, weapon mods to our current weapons. Might not worry about it at this exact moment, but before we take on the big monster, I wanna do that. Because I definitely like this combo, I think I'm gonna keep with it for now. Got it, whoa, ow, that hurts. Start working on this guy. And if, if we do this well enough and fast enough, I can definitely get rid of the entire extractor in one go. Won't have to do anything much more than that. Got it, and then the moment this lowers, not just like that. Time. Yeah, not this time indeed. You're not surviving for very long. Only problem is that my weapons run out of juice so fast. We're already down to half of its health. That is excellent, and it's going down real fast. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't let it stop, don't let it stop. Did we get it? Yes, we did in one go. You really want to time those abilities well because it's well, well worth it. So they're gonna go all the way down to 21%. We'll have to build up our uh, Great. alliance. I got a lock on Haven's Prime. Updating your star map now. Okay, it's a prime, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so let's just do this, and boom, give it to me. Okay, so we got another extractor core. Doesn't look like there's any more chests to find around here. And yeah, nothing more to hack or anything. Well, there's some stuff on the floor now. But probably not anything major. Just whatever that was. Oh, common mineral, didn't even see. Okay, I'll grab that stuff super fast. And where is that prime at? Uh, I definitely saw it on the mini map, right over this way. Okay, so we'll take on this prime now, but before we do, let's go ahead and check out our loadout, where I, I like the weapons we have, I just wanna improve them with weapon mods, because we already have like the rare commander ammo three, which is plus 35% damage and plus 50 fire rate, which would be pretty huge. Deal damage to charge and en 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 energy. Stuttering, sorry. Um, but then we can also do some other stuff. Well, I have this equipped to other things right now, but I can unequip it and equip it to this. Like, plus 15% cold damage is pretty good. We can work on that for now. We'll remove it from whatever we had it on before, Frost Barrage. And then we can do like stability amplifier three, plus 15% kickback when firing this weapon. More importantly, they're like XP amplifier. I'm gonna, that's not really that big right now. Um, efficiency amplifier, I would really like this. I mean, actually that might be better for the other weapon, but I mean, this usually runs out of energy pretty quickly. Moving on over to this, mod this weapon. It doesn't have any kind of amplifier right now, so we can do commander ammo, plus 20% damage, plus 25 fire rate, deal damage to charge energy. That sounds amazing. And, and <clears throat> sorry, and then, that's the electrum amplifier. I really want the plus 15% gravi gravity damage, plus 15 rate of fire, plus 15% kinetic damage. I think we'll do this one and I don't have this one locked yet. Upgrade the Equinox's modding bay to add more ship booster and weapon amplifier slots to your entire fleet. Is that what I gotta do, or I thought I had to level this up more? I guess I have to do that. So we should be able to do that in the Equinox. Uh, which one? Mod Foundry? Modding bay. Can't afford it. All weapons in your collection get an extra amplifier mod slot. So that's gonna take a little bit more work. That's for sure. But I could do some other stuff, like shield projectors, I should be able to do this soon, the Warden Spire's unlocked. I need to work on more Spires. That's definitely on my to-do list. So these are a little bit more souped up than they were before, that's for sure. And did I ever put the marker on? I did, so it's this way. I have to travel practically half the planet. Not moving very fast at the moment, that's a little bit better. This ship is definitely a bit faster than what I'm used to, which is nice, I really appreciate it. We might as well fly for now then. Really just take to the skies and get done what we can. Or at least get as far as we can. That's what I'm looking forward to. But it has been a lot of fun checking out different enemies and stuff, or not enemies, different allies. This is one of the spires, if I did want to get like this one now. Spire up there. I wonder what's inside of it. I'll mark it on the map for later. Well, I can do it now. So this is one of those ones where you have to hit it in a specific order. Got it, and got it. Yeah! What does that give us? 
my stars. I'm detecting some sort of advanced root system deep below this spire. These roots contain trace amounts of electrum. I wonder if this spire injected it into the soil. Maybe we got a Nova for that again, awesome. More importantly, if we go to our Equinox now, we should be able to go to Warden Research. Uh, and we need to do more of these to unlock even more of them. But for right now, use the star map to fast travel to any solved war Warden Spire. That sounds amazing, just to make things a little bit more accessible. So we wanna make sure we get a lot of those done, a lot of those Warden Spires. So we wanna make our progress just even easier. Imp swarm detected. Oh gosh. Wherever they're off to, it won't be good. We should stop them while we can. All right, well, it's pretty easy when we're up here. Like, they throw rocks at us, but honestly, that's not too bad. I feel like I should do more combat from up here. It's really nice. We eventually have to land. Wait, is there one more? There's just one more this way. I do not see them. Are they flying? No, they were just probably jumping or something. There we go. Neutralized. Easy. <laughs> that was not difficult at all. Let's keep moving. Not quite done. I wanna explore more of Haven for sure, because it looks like there's a lot of cool stuff going on in this planet. But I wanna make my way to Violets. If not this episode, then it definitely na next episode. I forgot that I was flying. I was hitting the floor there. How awkward. Oh, there's some more of those beetles. Okay, so we're definitely getting closer to it now. I don't know if it's faster on the floor. Seems like it's ever so f slightly faster. So I guess we'll keep to this for now then. Looks like there's lots to pick up, but I'm not really too worried about any of it right now. And here he is, Oxygen the big bad dude himself. Legion Prime detected. This Prime is weak. Seize the opportunity to destroy it before it grows. All right. So we could have found this thing at any point, is a thing. At any point, I think we could have found this, but the problem is that we, you know. Oh, here we go. So I'm gonna activate this now and just go at him. Not this time. Is that we didn't really know exactly where it was. But now that we've destroyed enough of the, uh, Extractors, we were able to get a detail on where it was, and so it's a lot easier to defeat it now that it's weaker because of its lack of coverage on the planet. As far as I understand, that's that's what he meant by it was weak. Warning. Legion reinforcements incoming. Ah, that's fine. They're fire cyclopses. They're done for. We got them. It's game over for them. Oh, I need to get this. Oh, I missed out on it. That's fine. Work on some other stuff first. Oh, I definitely want that chest though. Open that chest. Excellent. Back it up. The stuff in the chest will fly towards me, so I'm not really too worried about that part. And then once I get rid of these Cyclopses, I can go back to focusing on him. Come on, lift up one of your arms. Show me your armpit. You can do it. Oh, there we go. Is that landing? It is, just barely though. Okay, so this one I won't be able to do as much damage. I didn't really get too much of a chance to do damage. Like it doesn't go on for very long. Well, I was able to do something. Oh, he is almost done for. Can I get him now? Can I get him now? I'm almost out of ammo. Oh, so close. One more, one more hit is all I need. Which one are you gonna hit with, huh? Come on, do it, see what happens. Warning. See what happens. I know, I know. We'll focus on those guys in just a second. I can take this guy down right now, just like this. Got him. Ignore those guys, we don't need them. And boom, down goes the prime. Legion push back 21%, that's a whopping zero for you. Say that yeah, again. Stopped it early, before it had a chance to infect Haven anymore. Yeah, that's right. I'm the best there is, baby. We're all proud. Just don't forget to grab the Prime's core before you leave. Okay, so we got it. Even though this guy can be super duper full of himself. So yeah, now there's no Prime, you know, existence on this planet as of right now. I'm guessing that sort of changes over time, so we definitely need to keep on top of things. And we can still build things for ourselves. You know, our coverage is only 14%. I'm sure that would keep some of the uh, the Legion away. Oh, we got a level up for those those missiles, which is good. It's some of my favorite weapons so far. Stasis Emma, one new mod collected. Very cool. So I'm going the wrong way. I don't know what I do with this. I guess I can just sell it. Is that the goal? I don't remember what we do with it. I guess we can just try to sell it, see what ends up happening. Because I do not remember what we can do with this. It's like, don't forget to pick it up. Pick up Prime Core. Where do we bring a Prime Core? I'm gonna try bringing it here and see if they can't buy it. But if not, then I might have to just bring it back to the, I can't fly with it, so I can't bring it back to the uh, the ship, the mothership. But then I guess we'll sort of make our way to Vilas. Honestly, we did that faster than I expected, so we can at least get started with the Vilas mission. Getting there is gonna be half the battle. 
But yeah, I actually do like his ability. It sort of feels pretty similar to Chase. Now. Bring him here. We'll help you unload him. All right. Thanks. Uh, deliver item Prime Core twenty five thousand. Uh, extra favor for this area, which is nice. We get five Thanks Novas for that. Wow, we this refinery. We're at peak electrum output. Awesome. So I might want to save my stuff for some other outposts if I can. That way I'm just delivering it all sorts of places. But yeah, five more Nova, that's insane. Wow, we have a whopping eight Nova, that is awesome. But now that he's maxed out, I could go to different areas. But like even this, right here, the extractor core, we have three of these, they each give you a Nova. How crazy is that? So it's been good that we've been finding those. Uh Taking a look around the rest of the planet, there's one right here, really not too far away. We should probably set our destination to that one. Go there, do its mission, set it up, and then this is a condenser. You're heavy with cores there, pal. Bring him here. We'll help you unload him. I'd rather uh, help out another place. Don't be so greedy. I'm gonna drop this here. I forget what these really do. I think they just condense areas to get uh, more electrum. So I'll, I'll just leave that there and not worry about it. And we are gonna rush on over this way. Is This is another spire as well, so I'll probably do this real fast if I haven't already, which I'm pretty sure I haven't. Oh, these guys are level one, how adorable. Well, Sorry, yeah. buddies, but you're getting out of here. Next time we deal with a big grouping of Cyclops, though, I'll try to, you know, apply our ability and see how much time we get added to it each time we destroy somebody, because that seems like it'd be pretty good if you get like an overwhelming amount of enemies. So we haven't done this one. I'm guessing it's gonna require, oh, going the wrong way. Fire? Looks like it, or maybe not. Oh, what, what is this? I don't know. Some kind of puzzle. All of these are just sort of, I guess I gotta complete the circle, gotcha. Okay, that actually isn't too bad then. Because what I could do is this, and then move back that, that back over there. Okay, that's not too bad then. I know how to solve these. Okay, well, it gets more difficult the closer you get to it. But now all we gotta do is this and that. They're not too bad. <laughs> awesome. And what about this one? You gonna talk to me about it, Carl? This spire appears to be a type of anchor that holds Haven in place. Oh my, there's a shattered planet here in Atlas. Perhaps something went wrong with its anchor. Huh. All right, well, another spire done, super important. I probably do wanna, I, did I already get the spire thing? I did, awesome. So I'll have to get two more of those spires to work on that. Not really in my set of worries at the moment. Oh gosh, I'm going the wrong way. Go around like this, and we are charging off to this outpost so that I can help them out as well. And hopefully get some Nova along the way, that'll be awesome. But it's getting easier and easier the more diligent we get with the game to get Nova. Which is great. Oh hey, who are you? Yo, I'm Levi McCray, and I'm here to get Mick crazy on the Legion. Anything I can do to help out? I guess not. Uh, well, I mean, I guess so. <laughs> she, she didn't say anything. This place would be humming if I had a new helium diffuser. You can usually find stuff like that in the ruins nearby. All right, precious metals. Find and retrieve the salvage for the refinery. Salvage from the Electrum Rush era helps re refineries Upgrade their equipment. Let's do it. And that is this way. Okie doke. So this really shouldn't be too hard. Usually these refineries give us a ton of stuff. I don't know how much of it I want to farm up at the moment. We have 800,000 Electrum. It would be cool to hit a million though at this rate. Old transport ship. Bet you there's still a cockpit in there someplace. Okay. We'll keep that in mind. Okay, this isn't the kind of refinery I was thinking of. I was thinking about those big things that we usually find. Okay, let's pick up the cockpit. Gotcha. Seems intact. Bring it on back. I will in a moment. First off, I'm getting some big stuff. Got it. I thought it said there were some enemies nearby. I've oh, got the M1 engine. Grab that. Then over this way, what do we got for us? Got a spectrometer. And then probably inside the building itself is going to be one of those things. So can we go in through here? You bet we can. One of the chests, one of the caches. Ow, I'm just hurting myself right now. That's not good. Gotta use a different weapon. <laughs> this is me being a dingus. Can I get through this or no? Maybe not with our current thing. So I might drop this real fast. Lost signal on the salvage. Did you drop it? Yep. I'm trying to fit through this door. 
My butt's too big. Yep, it's right here. Come on, excuse me. Open the salvage. Jeez, I am not a good driver right now. And we get another mod. Stasis armor, nothing too crazy, but worth clearing it out just to get a little bit more completion. So let's get back over this way, pick it back up, and we are good to move out of here. See, that was a pretty easy mission, it usually is, but that time there was no enemies at all. Like There was a marker for one of the bandits or whatever they are, but then they just disappeared. Had something bigger to do, maybe they're afraid of us. They didn't want to end up being humiliated on Levi's vlog. Okay, let's go ahead and deliver that for 10,000. Not bad. So, do do March Refinery joins the Alliance. So there's a lot of these guys that we need to help out with the Alliance, but the Alliance has leveled up. expanded to a new refinery. Come visit us anytime. Will do. And I'm visiting you right Good now. To see you, friend. Legion's down. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. So for right now we could upgrade the outpost ourselves. The upgrade, I don't know, like this is weird. Does the upgrade cost two Nova or give us two Nova? I think it costs two Nova, nice. which is sort of a shame. Keep helping us like that, and I'll be able to supply more Electrum than you'll know what to do with. Looks but like it seems well worth it. With you. I'll buy him off you, no questions asked. I don't know if it's worth doing that because we could also just, like we could upgrade the outpost manually, but I don't think we need to do that if we just deliver items. So maybe that was a mistake. Let me just sell all of this stuff. Make some room. We'll be sending the biggest Electrum shipments in Atlas now. Ooh, now we're at 36%. Plus two, so 38, nice. So if I take a look now, our all post is fully upgraded. So upgrading like that, that's a shortcut. I thought we had to do both of those. That's not the case. So whenever I have the opportunity, just deliver the items because that, that is way, way easier. So we now have 10 of that. And like I said, I wanted to start heading to Vilas a little bit to see if we can't at least get started with that. See how fun that might end up being. I feel like it'll be pretty cool. So let's get into space and work from there. But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with uh, Levi here. We'll probably check out yet another new hero in the next episode, because why not? And let's go into hyperdrive. Might not do too much on Vilas. It might take us a good couple minutes to actually get there. I'll probably stop to see whatever's around along the way too, so whatever's really fun. Oh, that one's calling green. Guess I might actually detail what we could actually find in this debris. Because I don't know if there's a finite amount of debris. I think it's actually random each time. And apparently there's upgrades we can purchase for the Equinox. Well, yeah, yeah, of course. That's this stuff. Warning. Ah, I'm being a dingus. Incoming outlaw hyperspace trap. Okay, whoa, ow, that hurt. Space debris, new location, 3%. So like it says new location, 3%, so it must be that there are actually a position. finite amount of those. Might be worth checking out. I'll keep that in mind. I mean, I'm already checking it out and being shot by the people who hang they out here. Me. Oh, one more, one more. Where'd you go? You're behind me. There you are. This one Got ain't him. Worth the trouble. Let's scram. See, here it is. It doesn't really show up on this map, though, is the weird thing. I don't know if there's something we can do to make it show up on the map. I also still don't know what this is. I guess it's just sort of the center of the universe. And this is the dark sector, which is much harder than what we're at right now. And there's a frontier sector. Sort of checking it out and learning. That's always fun. Okay, so let's sneak back over this way. And just, I don't really need too much of the smaller stuff. What I'm really looking for, ah! Big explosion, big explosion. Get me out of here. There we go. <laughs> All I'm really looking for is the chest itself, so. That seems to be right here, and it's one of these ones protected by gravity. Well, that didn't work. The gravity ones need this for some reason. They're very specific. Got it. Got it. Okay, so that's a lot of stuff there. Oh, we get a crushing ammo too, not bad. And there's nothing thing over this way, so if we got a green one out of the gray, I don't know if this green one's actually gonna give us something super crazy or not. Guess we'll find out together as we get over there. We don't want to go too fast now, we'll run right into it again. There usually is somebody protecting these almost every time. So we gotta be prepared for this one, might be a bit more challenging. There definitely are mines everywhere, and there's a chest inside of it. Whoa, Come well here on. they go, Let's here they go. This. Let me change my weapon back to that, switch back around, start working uh -oh, on these guys. That's not what I wanted to do. For you. What is this guy, he's a golden outlaw. Well now he's destroyed outlaw. 
Don't know what him, he was about. Abandoned cargo, new location, 3%. Awesome. Keep moving. Ow, 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 I can hear all those mines getting closer. I can hear all the mines getting closer. I can see them getting closer. Ow, ow. You know what? Not this time. Yeah, not this time, buddy. Boom, get an extra couple seconds with it every time we destroy something. So you better bet we're gonna do that. Awesome, so keep moving. We're not done checking this area out. Let's go destroy more mines along the way. Got it, ooh, big explosions, big explosions, big explosions, ah, ow, pain. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I cannot see anything anymore, oh my gosh, I was insane. Is this not the entrance? I thought it was, I'm picking up some I was wreckage wrong. near your position. Might be worth checking out. What do you think I'm here for? <laughs> You're being silly. So here we are inside of it itself, and there should be a chest over this way. Uh, maybe not in this room, okay. There is another entrance and technically exit here, which is pretty good. Once again, I don't need to diligently explode all of this. It doesn't really seem worth it. I mean, I do get more mods for it, but I get more mods for everything at this rate, so really isn't that big of a deal. What I'm really looking for is that chest. So I, I have a hope. Oh, definitely explode any explosives, because I'll just make everything else easier to pick up. Oh, that was wonderful. This is a normal salvage, but it gets a range amplifier too, and an XP amplifier one, and a commander ammo too. Some good stuff there, can't complain. So we wanna head back out of here and move on to the next spot. Which should be coming up real quick. I mean, not real quick, we're still 337,000 away. Hyperdrive unavailable at this oh. time. Hyperdrive's unavailable. Gotta move a little bit more forward. I mean, we could head to this thing, just go from like spot to spot until we finally reach it. Uh, that could be fun. I mean, we got 16 Nova now. I guess we've been getting more Nova by exploring this stuff, which is awesome. So let's slow down on this one. No, stop the hyperdrive. My hyperdrive is ready, that's amazing. Wait, where did it go? It was right here. I'm very confused. Did I just hyperdrive for like two seconds and like zoom by it? What is that planet over there? Or is that just the sun? It might just be the sun. Okay, so let's start working on this one. I don't see any uh, outlaws. They show up whenever they want. Oh, he canister. Eesh. Oh, here we go. So let me real fast change the flamethrower. Not for very long, but just enough to destroy this. Got it. And that is some more stuff. Back to this. I'm getting a little bit better anti-freeze booster too. Nice. Getting a little bit better at changing weapons on the fly, which is good. So let's hyper speed, hyper boost, whatever it is, hyper drive over to this one. And we're just little bits at a time get to where we're looking. Oh, slow it down, slow it down, ow! Up some oh. near your position. Might be worth checking out. So it's still staying at 3% no matter how many of these we find. There must be a lot then. If we're getting this many and we're staying at 1%, that's an insane amount. Where's the chest? Oh, right down there. You thought you could hide from me under here. Ain't happening. Get this thing. And open it up. Looks like more boosters to me. Yeah, we got the heat sink booster. And, no, I thought we got something else. Okay, that was it, that's fine. I don't see any else around here for now. So let's keep moving and if we see any more, we'll pop on over to it. Oh, there's another one over this way. If this way, it's gonna take me a while to find all these. If, if, if it's even Warning. possible. Incoming outlaw hyperspace trap. Yep, dodging that one, not a problem. Oh, but they showed up anyways. I guess I was technically still in the trap or something, or maybe that doesn't matter. Maybe there are just some protecting this yeah, in these areas. You're going down. No, Can't you're going me. down. Get that guy way over there if we can. Doesn't really work too well. I mean, if I zoomed in maybe. No, my aim is just not good enough for that kind of distance. There's plenty of guys much closer to me then that I could po focus on instead. Maybe that worked a little bit. Turn around on this guy. Got him. That dude's down. This guy's smoking because I, I know he's really low in health. And this guy's You'll not even a problem. Again, stranger. Just you wait. You uh -huh, we'll see about that. Attention. Okay, so quickly move over to the flamethrower, get this oh, cold man. cash. Can't wait to see who I get to recruit next. Oh, maybe another dino bro. Oh, or a plant man. What are you Levi, talking about? I don't think you're supposed to call them plants. Uh, I've been called worse. Whoever we find, we need to find them fast. The Legion are growing. First the raiding parties, then extractors. Now Primes? I believe our next target may be the hardest of all. Wait, you think there's something bigger out there? Theoretically. 
The source of these primes must be massive, and likely interplanetary. So, the primes come from a big spaceship. Why can't we see it? Big as it might be, finding it in space is like searching for a pebble in an asteroid belt. Whoa, this is an outlaw leader. Back it up. Okay, I need to get some separation. Turn back around and work on this a little bit because this not is not turning out very well. Easy. Oh gosh. What do you mean I can't get out of this that easy? We'll see about that, buddy. Take that. Oh gosh, we're about to die. No! Okay, I gotta switch ships. That's fine, I had a lot of fun with that one. We could try the R-Wing, we could try this one. Uh, we'll try the R-Wing for now. See how that ends, ends up working out. Easy Looks like it could be fits. fun. You know what? That probably is why I'm having a problem. I have the wrong weapon equipped. Duh. Ooh, that looked like it hurt. Oh yeah? How much does this hurt? Where's the uh, the leader? He was around here. I'm getting majorly damaged. He's definitely around still, beating me up somewhere. Got it. If I had my special right now, that'd be fantastic, but I don't. It's probably He's probably this last one. That'd make a lot of sense. He's down this way. Yup, here he is, outlaw leader. He has a shield up right now. We can change that, no problem. Oh, we are wrecking him. He's level nine, we're level five. Not a problem. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Where do you think you're going off to, huh? Yeah, I Those thought so. Left in a hurry, but Sage was able to track them to their base. Check the star map. Ooh, nice. So we've got a range amplifier. Apparently there is, where is I'm it? Picking up some wreckage near your position. There Might it is. Be worth checking out. Yep, it indeed is. We got a level 13 heat cache, which might have another rare blue one. We got one during their like communication. Yeah, heat sink booster, three. Very nice, and an impact amplifier too. Getting some really rare stuff. Well, I mean, not really rare, just typically rare, but it seems to be cool stuff. For what stage we are in the game, we don't seem to be too far beyond that stuff, but we're starting to get there. Let's go back into hyperdrive. I'll try to get one more done before we land on the planet because I really gotta start finishing up. I've been having, I've been having a lot of fun. Okay, what do we got going on? Not looking like too much. Ooh, just gotta get this heat cache. So it looks like if you go through one of the outlaw traps, but don't leave it, they'll catch you and they'll attack you. So Scorching Ammo 3, a nice rare material there. I'll take it. Oh, we got the green ones. The green ones are always worth it, aren't they? We'll get this green one real fast. And then we'll work from there. But there's outlaws. Of course there's outlaws. Maybe this is a mistake then. looking good for you. Ooh, I think one of them's an outlaw leader too. We'll have to be careful. Just work on as many as I can. Another guy over this way. Apparently there's another guy right in front of me. I don't see him. Oh, right here, right here. And the mines, I don't like the mines. Ooh. Got him. That was actually super easy. Never mind. I was worried for nothing. We're doing Vilas and then, I mean, we're doing this and then we're going to Vilas. That is for sure. I know there's more mines coming in. More mines, ow. They're so painful. Oh, come on, I just, just got this ship. Move to this one, get the uh, chest, and then we're out of here. We're leaving pronto. Where is the opening to the ship, though? Not, yeah, well, it is a ship. Hyperdrive unavailable at this time. I know, I know. Destroy these magnet mines as much as I can because they are total pain before they get close to me. That's good. Going into here. Oh, that's the salvage. Awesome. Explode all that stuff nearby it. And open it up. What do we get? Hopefully something good for all that mass. We got a lot of Nova. Another Nova. And a, a super rare Warrior Core 4. Wow, awesome. So I'm definitely gonna be applying that stuff at the beginning of next episode. Let's go into hyperdrive for now and just row. Ow, that was a meteor. Rush on over to Vilas and then we'll be wrapped up with that. What a lot of fun that was. Really good episode. I definitely think that uh, Levi is fine. I want to go out of my way to buy him just for him, but seeing how I have all the guys at this point, they're worth checking out. And wow, does this planet look interesting? Very green, very red. Yo guys, I'm red. in Vilas, but I totally forgot what I need to do. Uh, <laughs> something about destroying extractors? Is that how I find the prime? Negative. Looks like everything's dormant here. But Sage picked up the prime's electrical pulse when it went out. I'll put a waypoint on it. Interesting, so. Sick. Straight to the money. 
Yeah, money's over that way. So we'll go right to the money, but not now. We'll be doing that in the next episode of Starlink Battle for Atlas. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Levi Zebra. So you watch at the end of the you are a zebra tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing and doing the zebra herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.